Pontiac Grand Prix 1973-77. All A-bodies, including the Grand Prix, were redesigned for 1973. This generation was larger and heavier, due partly to the federally mandated 5 miles per hour, 8.0 km per hour, crash bumpers. Although large V8 tests were still available, the performance was on the decline due to new emissions control systems. The most notable styling feature of this generation was the appearance of the fixed opera window, replacing the previous disappearing rear side glass. This year's Grand Prix switched from pillar airless hardtop design to a pillared colonnade hardtop with frameless door glass as did all GM intermediates in response to proposed federal safety standards regarding rollover protection. The front and rear styling of the 1973 Grand Prix was an evolution of the 1971 and 1972 models with a vertical bar V nose grille and single headlamps along with the new federally mandated 5 miles per hour, 8 km per hour, front bumper. The rear featured a revised bow tail like trim with square tail lights above the bumper. A new instrument panel continued the wraparound cockpit theme of previous models with new African crossfire mahogany facing on the dashboard, console, and door panels, which was real wood in contrast with the simulated wood grain material found in most car interiors during that time. The Strato bucket seats were completely new with higher seat backs and integrated headrests in Maracay door cloth trims, and optional recliners and adjustable lumbar support with a notch back bench seat offered as a no-cost option. The standard drivetrain consisted of the four-barrel 400 cubic inches, 6.6 liters, V8 rated at 230 horsepower, 170 kilowatts, and the turbo hydromatic transmission. Also standard were power steering and power brakes. A four-barrel 455 cubic inches, 7.5 liters, was optional and included with the SJ option that also added a rally gauge cluster and a radial tuned suspension with front and rear sway bars, ply HL shock absorbers, and radial ply tires. The introduction of radial ply tires improved handling. GM's Abadi car's front suspensions were based on the Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird during this production run. Grand Prix production set a new record of over 150,000 units. Despite intense competition from a similar restyled Chevy Monte Carlo, and near personal luxury coupes such as Buick's all new Century Regal and Moldsmobile's Cutlass Supreme, both of whose styling and appointments were very similar to the GP and Monte Carlo, and even shared the same squared off formal roof line with opera windows, but used the standard A body coupe body and 112 N, 2800 mm, wheelbase shared with lower priced models. The success of the GP, and Monte Carlo, led to direct responses from Ford Motor Company the following year with a larger Ford Elite and Mercury Cougar, which were followed by Chrysler entries in 1975, the Dodge Charger and Chrysler Cordoba. The 1974 Grand Prix received a revised split grille with vertical bars that was entirely above the bumper. The boat tail effect was softened due to a new federally mandated 5 miles per hour. 8.0 km per hour, bumper that was added to the similar mandated front bumper introduced in 1973. The license plate and fuel filler were moved above the bumper and tail light lenses were revised. The interior trim remained virtually unchanged from 1973, with standard seating choices, including strato bucket seats with center console or notch back bench seat with an armrest and cloth or morakite upholstery. The bucket seats were available with optional recliners and adjustable lumbar support. The real African Crossfire mahogany trim was replaced by a simulated material for the instrument panel due to splintering problems on 1973 models. The real wood was continued on the console and door panels for another two years. A new cut bile carpeting replaced the nylon loop rugs of previous years. A federally mandated interlock system required the driver and front seat passenger to fasten their seat belts to start the car. This system was offered only for 1974 and on some early 1975 models. It was rescinded by congressional action. Engines were carried over from 1973, including the 400 cubic inches, 6.6 liters, V8, standard on the Model J and 455 cubic inches, 
7.5 liters, standard on the Model SJ, optional on the Model J. A turbo hydromatic transmission, variable ratio power steering, and power brakes were standard equipment on both models. In addition to the 455 V8, the Model SJ also added a rally gauge cluster, SJ identification, and a radial tune suspension similar to Pontiac's Grand Am. Radial tires were also a new option on the Model J this year. Sales of Grand Prix for the 1974 model year dropped from 1973's record of around 150,000 units to just under 100,000 units primarily due to new competition in the intermediate personal luxury car market from a new upsized Mercury Cougar XR7 Coupe and Ford Elite, both based on the Dearborn's intermediate Torino, Montego platform. Still, 1974 was the third best-selling year to date for the Pontiac Grand Prix. A revised grille with fewer vertical bars and revised taillight lenses marked the 1975 Grand Prix. Changes included the addition of GM's high-energy electronic ignition and a catalytic converter that mandated the use of unleaded gasoline. Radial tires became standard on all models. A new luxury LG model was added as the new top model. The base Model J remained available, as well as the SJ. The LJ included pinstriping and a velour interior trim. Speedometers were revised with numerals now topping at 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, rather than the 120 or 140 miles per hour, 230 kilometers per hour. Readings found in previous years and speed readings in kilometers were added. The addition of the catalytic converter spelled the end of dual exhaust for 1975 and detuning of engines. The 400 cubic inches, 6.6 liters, V8, standard on J and LJ models, dropped from 230 to 180 horsepower, 130 kilowatts, while the 455 cubic inches, 7.5 liters, standard on SJ, optional on J and LJ was detuned from 250 to 200 horsepower, 150 kilowatts. New for 1975 was a more economical 170 horsepower, 130 kilowatts 400 cubic inches, 6.6 .6 liters, with two-barrel carburetor, which was available as a no-cost option on J and LJ models. Sales dropped to 86,582 units thanks to an aging design continued recession resulting from the 1973-74 energy crisis, substantially higher prices for all 1,975 model cars due to that year's safety and emission control regulations, and intense competition from Ford's Cougar and Elite, and Chrysler Corporation's two new entries in this class including the Chrysler Cordoba and Dodge Charger say. The model mix was 64,581 base J models. 7,146 SJs, and 14,855 of the new LJ.